when we talk about that if a person makes a promise, this also is something very, very important in Islam, not something lightweight. Today I find a lot of Muslims making this mistake of thinking that a promise is not that big of a deal. And if you say, do you promise to do that? They say, yeah, I promise, inshallah. And inshallah means if God wills. So this is really adding to what you say, not taking away from it. So we should be real careful when we make a promise and realize that, especially if I say inshallah, this means in front of Allah, if there's any possible way, I'm going to keep my promise. And it's not something small if I tell you I'm going to meet you at 11 o'clock in the morning and I don't show up until 12 o'clock. That is not keeping a promise, is it? And this is something I find even from Muslims being very bad about this, thinking that's not a big deal. And yet it's a promise. And when you give a promise, you should keep it. But if you said, well, for instance, I live in Pakistan and people are always late. Or I live in Egypt. I live in an Arabian country. We're always late. It's no big deal. No, it's a big deal. If you mean the certain time, say the time you mean. And if you come early and nobody else shows up, fine. You kept your promise. And the reason you do that, the reason you make a promise is for what reason? Because in front of Allah, you're saying I'm going to do a certain thing to the best of my ability. And it means that you'll get a reward for that. As we mentioned earlier in our program about intentions. And I want to be rewarded. So even if you don't show up on time and I show up on time, I'm going to be rewarded for something. So this is all part of developing that 